if you didn't commit this crime, then give us your DNA. I'm like, sure, shit, I ain't got nothing to do with it. You can have it. You know, how many suspects would be that willing to give you their DNA, mm -hmm. knowing that it could possibly implicate them in a crime? And, you know, they were like, oh, well, you know, if you didn't do it, you know, you can prove yourself because we found DNA at the crime scene. And we're going to, you know, basically you can, um, I guess you can exclude yourself, you know, from this situation. So I agreed to give them my DNA immediately. Next thing they do, they basically come in and say, okay, well, you know, um, the van, you know, that was used in the crime was soaked in gasoline, you know, before the crime took place, you know, so if you don't have any gasoline on your clothes, you know, that can help, you know, help prove that you weren't there. So I'm like, okay, well, here, you can have all of my clothes. So I willingly gave them my DNA and my clothes, you know, to be tested. Next thing I know, an FBI agent comes into the room, uh, Agent Jan Hartman. So she comes into the room, and I'm like, okay, well, what are you here for? I just told her my story. She's like, well, I want to talk to you. She started reading my rights. This is the first time I was ever read my rights. She was like, well, you have a right to remain silent. I'm like, well, look, I want, an, I want a lawyer from the court, period. You know, I'm done talking. I, I don't have anything to say. You all aren't going to believe me. Um, just give me a lawyer from the court. She never told anybody about my request for an attorney. She said she just left and didn't tell anybody. 